Slady Cam with Bible study, and today we're going to talk about how can we know who our friends are. Hmm. Let's get it. Slady Cam. How can we know who our true friends are? Life provides a test of loyalty. Genuine friends love us through the good times and the hard times, and I'm not saying that you have to. Um, talk to your friends every single day or every hour on the hour. Friends show their true colors when you're going through a very difficult time in life or any kind of hardships. There's nothing wrong with having like, you know, associates or whatever, but it's always good to have like one or two close friends. Like if you have like a lot of friends, but they're like surface relationships, then you would lack a lot of um, wisdom and uh, people that would actually be there for you when you go through hardships, difficulties, and, and hard times. These kind of people ruin the lack of, of giving you good advice as well. True friends sometimes wound us, they hurt us, not like, physically matter, I'm not talking about that. I don't promote violence. Willing to tell us the hard truth, even when it hurts, we can trust their feedback. You have to be aware of people or someone that you consider to be your friend doesn't come out and, and uh, tell you the truth about yourself or kind of point out uh, different things that may not seem right or to be aligned with who you really are. True friends must have the courage to confront you about things. If you have friends that don't confront you about anything and act like everything is just good, and those are not your true friends. Those are like surface relationships. Then you have people or so-called friends that entice you to do bad things. They may um, try to give you drugs, you know, alcohol, different things that are harmful to your body. Those are not true friends. And any any friend or anybody that tries to get you to do something that is against God's word and his will for your life, those are not good friends. Those are bad friends and bad influences. And you also have friends and people that are drawn uh, to material things and wealth a lot. And sometimes they may be just your friend because you have money or you can get them in a better situation, financial situation. So people who are drawn to like material things and, and wealth and things like that, sometimes they're just there for that and they're not our true friend because once that money and those materials go away, then they go away. Trust me, I've been through it. Uh, when financial hardships come, they disappear. Um, true friends are reliable, fake friends are not. True friends do not gossip about you or talk about you behind your back. Those are not true friends, you know. No one's perfect, but at the same time, you shouldn't gossip about your friends. You shouldn't talk negative about your friends. Like I said in the other video, there's ways to um, confront somebody when they're doing wrong. You pull them to the side and talk to them on a one-to-one -one basis, not to everybody else. So true friends do not gossip and talk negative behind your back. And if they hear somebody say something bad about you, then you will want them to stick up for you instead of agreeing or laughing at the joke about you. And also, besides, like, it kind of goes in with the gossip and talking behind, talking about your friend behind their back. You don't do that as well as tell their secrets. If someone is confiding in you and they're telling you a problem or issue, you don't go back and tell people what they, you know, what they told you. That's wrong. That's true. True friends do not do that. The true friends wouldn't like lie to you about things they wouldn't cheat on your significant other behind your back with them if i said that correctly they wouldn't um try to kill you they wouldn't try to rob you real friends wouldn't try to harm you or hurt you or put you in a dangerous situation in harm's way true friends genuinely want the best for you i said before like um people are not perfect so it's understandable if your friend has an issue or something that's going on and it might cause you to stumble, but true friends wouldn't allow that to get in your way. If they have a alcohol problem and they know that you had an alcohol problem, they wouldn't drink around you. They wouldn't do certain things around you to make you stumble. I think it's called like a stumbling block, you know. So true friends wouldn't um, encourage you to backslide or to be a stumbling block. True friends wouldn't embarrass you. Now we can look at uh, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 4. Wealth attracts many friends, but even the closest friend of the poor person deserts them. It's even there in the book, right? Proverbs chapter 19, verse 7. The poor are shunned by all their relatives. How much more do their friends avoid them? Through the poor pursue them with pleading, they are nowhere to be found. Now, as we look at um, Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 1, 
verse 8 through 19. Listen, my son, to your father's instructions and do not forsake your mother's teaching. They are a garland to grace your head and a chain to adorn your neck. My son, if sinful men entice you, do not give in to them. If they say, come along with us, let's lie and wait for innocent blood. Let's ambush some harmless soul. Let's swallow them alive like the grave and whole like those who go down to the pit. We will get all sorts of valuable things and fill our house with plunder. Cast lots with us, we will all share the loot. My son, do not go along with them. Do not set foot in their paths or their feet rush to evil. For their feet rush to evil. They are swift to shed blood. How useless to spread a net where every bird can see it. These men lie and wait for their own blood. They ambush only themselves. Such are paths of all who go after ill-gotten gain. It takes away from the life of those who get it. Let's go to Proverbs 16, 28. A perverse person stirs up conflict and a gossip separates close friends. So how can we tell who our true friends are? They're genuinely caring for us. They don't want harm done to us. They don't put us in harm's way. They're dependable, you know, reliable. They're loyal. They don't gossip and talk behind our backs. And for the most part, they're just um, honest, trustworthy, reliable, and loyal. Well, if I missed anything about, you know, how can you tell between true friends and bad friends, make sure you comment down below. Get it? Got it. Hope this was helpful to someone. Don't forget to share the word, like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification button to get notified on a new video. If you like what you see or if this is helping you, sign up for the Patreon. This is Lady Cam and I'm Audi. God bless. They say it's double